Okay, welcome back guys. We are here today, we're going to train legs in four. I'm with Dave. Um, Dave is also coached by Cuba as well. So we've been having a couple of sessions here and there over the last couple of weeks. And we've been linking in pretty well. Sessions have been going pretty good. Obviously we're both training, training the same training style at the moment. The same kind of uh, kind of program we're running at the moment. So it's just clicking very well. So I said I'd get him in today for a leg session. Um, I'm yeah. not really sure how, how this is going to go. It's going to be disgusting. <laughs> but you get a bit of an insight into kind of what they're looking like at the moment, the leg day is. I think this will be a lot better than the last one as well, in terms of kind of seeing how we train. Um, but like with these videos, what you see is what you get. There's no edits, there's no, you know, anything for the camera. It's literally just how we train on a day-to-day -day basis. You know what I mean? It's just raw. It's just how we train, um, literally every day, camera and no camera. So um, we get into it. I won't talk much even during it. I'll go through the odd little thing here and there, but we literally just get in, do what we do, and um, hopefully you find it interesting with um, us killing each other. Yeah. Um, but good. yeah, what are your plans now over the next year or so? A uh, year or so. So I'll be doing my first competition now in first one in September and then finishing in October with three. So we have two rows, PCA and then the Irish Nationals. And um, so I'm just coming up to the end of my off season now, and um, with one more little push and then mini cut and then uh, prep. Excellent. So, yeah. yeah. yeah so like fun. I said, we're both working with Cuba at the moment. So uh, it's exciting. We link in very well. And um, yeah, this session should be a good one. So um, we go through it. Again, I'll, I'll touch on, on a couple of things we're doing during the session here and there. But um, just enjoy and um, kind of see how we train. And we'll link back in at the end as well and have a little chat. OK, cheers, guys. Enjoy. Five minutes before every session, in climb walk on the treadmill. Basically, just a couple of minutes to switch it on, switch the mindset on, change from that kind of um, stay outside the gym of day-to-day -day life. So when we get in here, mindset is clearly on the session at hand. Um, heart rate rises, and then after the five minutes or so, we're ready to go, get, get the blood moving and then mindset is ready to get into the session and just attack it really. So that's the purpose of the walk before. Just have to, it's not water, so I literally try and make it as hard as possible. Pull it to the heels, there we go, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah. these will get hard fast. Pull to the heels, pull, yep. Yeah. Stay with it, stay with it. <coughs> then we get, good, well done. <coughs> More there, don't stop, come on, all the way, take it down. <coughs> then we get, good. <coughs> Let's go. Hold those hamstrings. Good, good, good. Come on, get that. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's go. Come on. All you. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. All you. Let's go. Come on, come on. Push. Yeah, let's go. Up. That fucker. <laughs> That's your one. Yeah. Keep it tight now. Keep it tight. Stay tall. Only hamstrings. Drive the heels down, 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 down. Yeah, you have more there. <coughs> Come on. As hard as possible. Drive, 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 drive. More, more. You have one more there. Let's go. I didn't touch that one. Good. <coughs> Come on, mate. More there. Let's get this. Good. Yes, yes. <coughs> All the way. Let's go. Good, come on, all you, all you, all you. Come on, little push. Good, all the way. Go again, go again, go again. Let's go, come on. Come on, fight it, fight it, fight it. All the way, all the way. Yes. Yep. Good. 
Okay, so two sets of seated hamstring curl done. One set of 12 to 15, one set of seven to nine. As you can see during that movement there, we were leaning forward into it, um, kind of over into the machine. And the reason being for that is because if we do this normal, like sitting back, braced in, it's actually too light. Um, so we couldn't hit the rep range we needed. It's not heavy enough. So by leaning forward into it, it's making things a lot harder for us. It's changing the kind of resistance profile. Um, so that's, that's the reason behind that. But if you can handle the load on the machine, don't go looking at other people and doing these kind of fancy ways of doing it. Stick to the normal way, build up your strength, build up your weight on that machine, and then maybe add these things in when you're strong enough to kind of implement them. But the only reason we, we done that there and changed the resistance profile and le le lent forwards was to make it that, harder, that bit harder on the hamstrings because the stack is too kind of light for us otherwise, okay? So that's the only reason behind that. We're not chasing numbers here. Like we, we sat into that and we didn't do that. We could have sat in and done reps all day long. Whereas we're trying to do what we can to take the most out of the exercises rather than going in and just beat numbers for the sake of it. And um, while it is important the logbook, it's also, you need to be smart with your approach to the exercises. Yeah, so basically, as you saw, like we made them reps as hard as possible for, for, for ourselves. Like we didn't go in and just kick them up and down. Every rep, even the eccentric part of each rep was controlled and literally trying to break down the muscle on every part of each rep and make it as hard as possible. So it's not about, it's, yeah, load is important, but doing damage to the muscle is number one. Nice. Yep, easy, good man. Control, there you go, lovely. Two sets of leg press. <laughs> um, four set, as you can see, it was already done. Um, 10 to 15 repper, four second eccentric on each rep. Absolutely no momentum at all. Hard drive out the, through the quads out the bottom. Fucking hell. Um, second set coming up in a second. The second set is a 15 to 20 repper. And it's the same thing again, four second eccentrics. So, um, to be honest, this, this is the worst set of the day. The weight is, is pretty light. But Jesus Christ, this set is just a mental battle. Um, it's a long way to 20 reps.
Come on! Push, 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 push! Good. Right, so two sets of leg press done. Literally four sets into the session. And uh, absolutely wiped. Uh, next up for me is Smith Machine Squat. Um, literally one set, 10 to 12 reps. And for Dave here, Dave has tendonitis in his elbow at the moment, so he can't actually go under the bar. So he's going to run with pendulum squat today. So we'll spot each other for the two sets. He only has one set as well. I have one set. So one chance. One chance until the next rotation. So you have one set not to fuck up. Um, so we get kind of a one, two, two, three warm up sets in. And then um, we'll attack that one set. But um, first we have to recover from that. swim machine squats after leg press like that leg press quads absolutely smoked and then into swim machine squats as if they weren't hard enough both of us are fucking vertically challenged as well like the taller you are <laughs> the harder it is for squatting so it's a movement I'm very fucking weak at in the first place so having a programmed after leg press like that's three plates of science like there's a lot of guys half my weight who are lifting double that. That's pretty embarrassing, but it's um, like, you know, it's not just about moving weight from A to B. Again, like, there's guys in this gym who can lift more than that. A lot of people will try and just lift weight for the sake of it to maybe impress people in the gym. But fuck that, once I'm doing the damage to, my, to the muscle I'm working, I'm only focused on myself. I don't care what I'm lifting. Um, it's, it, leave, leave, leave the ego at the door and I know in a couple of weeks a couple of months this will build right back up and um, to where to where I want it so again um, muscular damage is forced the load will come after that without a doubt um, next up we have leg extension we're going to run through two sets um, we're just a set of a leg extension really quick cool, right? so if you see if you see here when Dave is on it we want the kind of axis, we want the axis where the, um, the weight moves to be in line with the knee. So you see as that moves, where this attaches here, it's in line with the knee. And most people, most people will set the seat too far forward, okay? So if Dave, scoot up a little bit for me. If Dave, is, if Dave is forward like this, okay, and he pulls, a lot of the pull that's going to be coming from the knee joints, okay? Like I said, Focus, I set the seat back a little bit and focus on pulling from the rec fam rather than pulling from the knee and you get a much better contraction. Hold your own, hold your own, hold your own, hold your own. 
Oh, come on, up, 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 up. Oh. Yeah, come on, come with me, with me, with me. Big joy, up we come. Up. Oh, less, less. Up, oh, one more. Let me walk off my foot, off my foot. Pull, 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 yes. Let's go, come on, stay locked in. Go fucking sheet, let's go. Hair contraction, contract, contract. Yeah. Let's go, come on. Work, work, work. Yes, you, let's go. Pull, drag, quads, 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 quads. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's you, go one more, go one more. Pull everything, don't kick, don't kick. Drag, 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 drag. Come on, finish, 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 finish. Finish. Come on, come on. Hold control. Let's go, fuck this. Good. 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 Come on, keep going. Come on. Let's go, come on. All you. Go, go. Let's go! Let's get in. Yeah, good. Lock yourself in, pull yourself into the sea. Hard, aggressive. Yes, better. Let's go. Better. Bring that good. Come on. Pull yourself in. Quads. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not fucking doing it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. That's you. That's literally you. Let's go. Let's go. Don't kick. Just pull hard, pull, pull, pull. No, 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 get the foot, get the foot, come on. Come on. Pull, pull, yes, 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 yes. Control, parachutes, parachutes. Get down, get down. Get to me, here we go, okay. Come on, three, let's go, let's go. Two, last one. That's a set, come on. Okay, next up is single leg lion hamstring curl. As you can see here, we're on warm-up set, so the key here is we don't want our hips to shoot up. We want our hips nailed down to the bench. So the key is contract the glutes in and then contract the hamstring. If the glutes start to shoot up, it's gonna be a lot of glutes and lower back taking the loads, okay? And we only want hamstrings. So hips glued to the bench, contracted, and then only our hamstrings still on the pull. When you contract our hamstring on, the, in that, on them reps, it should nearly feel like each one, you're getting a cramp in your hamstring. That's how hard the contraction should be. So to, to cause that, we need to eliminate them hips shooting up. So keep them locked down to the bench. next we are going to run one set of 20 reps followed by one set of 10 to 12 so as you can see here with Dave doing it what we're going to do is we're going to emphasize when we come out we're going to emphasize the stretch for half a second and then contract hard and hold the contraction for half a second as well so spending time in both of the extremes in the stretch and in the contraction and with this we're literally trying to pull again focus on where we're pulling from so we're pulling from the adductor it's very easy to just kind of 
like slam it in together, use them whatever much as you can. But we're really focusing on lengthening that adductor, opening it up, and then pulling through that muscle and hair contraction. Again, you're going to get her. Let's go. It's the one. Don't kick. Pull. Yes. Yes. More. 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 There. Control. Savage. Oh. Go back. Come on, push, fight me, Mike, come on! Let go! Yeah. Oh. Okay, so we're going to be finishing up with the glute bridge. Um, with the glute bridge machine, hip thrust machine even, should I say. So Dave actually has never trained glutes directly before, so he's actually going to do it today. So it's a perfect chance to kind of talk through it. So what you want to do, bring your feet a little bit closer in. There you go, right? And lift them a bit higher. Okay, and what you want to do from there, like imagine you were spreading the floor. So, do you know if you're standing there and you kind of externally rotate your knees, your glutes gonna lock in? That's what you wanna do when you're in that position. Okay, so imagine you're driving your heels out, lock the glutes in, okay? So, lift up for me. Right, so from here, keep your chin tucked. So, keep that chin tucked, okay? Constant tension there, that's enough. Drive through the hips, yeah. Okay. Bring the knees in a little bit. So, keep the knees there, but put, yeah. And what you're gonna do, Right. Chin there, chin there, and drive through your heels. Hold, control, yeah. You have one more there. You have one more there. Chin tucked. No back. Glutes. Drive, 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 drive. Ah. That's the one. Control. 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 Yes. That's the leg session done. Um, very good session, wasn't it? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Very, very good. Um, like I said, like me and Dave, that's only a third session together. Yeah. And honestly, it feels like physically we know each other. We've been training with each other a year. There was just it's, a click yeah, from day one. It's yeah. very hard to... It's very hard to find a training partner that you just click with and you kind of train the same set training style and um, the same approach, the same mindset. So it's savage very like when you, rare, when you yeah. like be, literally no talking, we just kind of know what each other's gonna do, what what weights we're gonna do, and we're pretty at the moment we're pretty similar strength wise as well. Even, yeah. So it's literally like a little competition. Um, each set like it's like what did you get? Right, you have to fucking beat that. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's clicking in very well at the moment. So another few sessions before the year is out, hopefully. Um but yeah, that was a really good session. Um so yeah, um, I think I think people find that interesting. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like I said at the start, it's I'm just trying to like I'm not, I'm not getting doing anything fancy with YouTube. I'm literally just trying to kind of show just here I am. As you said kind at of, the start, it's raw. Like, it's raw. Is, yeah. This is what we do every single time. It doesn't change because there's a camera. Yeah. Here. It's just exact same. Yeah, like I said, like if you if you meet me a person, I'm the fucking exact same person as I am. Well. On YouTube, I'm actually a bit, I'm a bit quieter, a bit shyer, so I'm a bit more out straight in person, but um, training-wise and stuff, what you see is what you get. Yeah. And that's what I just want to kind of show people that, you know, kind of just, this, just this kind of bring people along and just show the way I do things. And if people enjoy it, they enjoy it. Yeah. If people enjoy the training, they enjoy it. But um, I'm enjoying doing it. I'm enjoying putting them out. And it's nice to see an insight of like what actually goes on rather than what people upload to Instagram. Yeah. That's a full session, like there's no edits, no cutouts, nothing like that. Yeah. Um, you're not just picking one good set to upload. Yeah. And this is this is what it is day in, day out. And as you can see there, like not every, like people post their kind of PBs or highlights on Instagram. As you see in there, like most of the stuff in there isn't crazy, isn't crazy impressive. 
it's just raw and kind of it's just what people do yeah. it's not these just like one out sets that you kind of see as highlights it's it's what goes on kind of throughout the whole session and um, mindset approach build up the sets um but yeah that's uh, jesus christ <laughs> that's um that's pretty much it um but yeah oh fuck, that was a very good session and we get another one in soon but in terms of of the channel um i'll keep i'll keep putting content out but uh, it's just being consistent is the main thing so i'll try keep being consistent um i'll have a few more up in the next couple of weeks as well i'll go i'll go with a full day a full day of eating because like i said at the moment food is a lot higher than, than you previously saw um a couple of weeks back and um, which is why the training etc is picking up a notch strength is coming up but um it's exciting everything's on a good run at the moment um training you know just everything in life really and um you just have to kind of when things are going well you just have to milk it and kind of run with it and make the most of it because obviously as you know things don't always go your way so when they do just run with it and fucking enjoy it and be grateful for it when it does mm. but um i need to touch on uh no he kind of covered it all yeah and um, very very good session yeah really enjoyed that yeah so yeah i'm excited to see and um, what's to come in the new year i'm excited to see Dale's progress as well in the new year it's uh, it's been crazy so far so um yeah guys that's that's pretty much it i hope you did enjoy um again be very very appreciative if you did like it drop a like drop a um what hit subscribe. the subscribe <laughs> button and um share on instagram be really really helpful because you know um publicity is publicity and it does help attract people to the channel and yeah so thank you very much guys i hope you enjoyed and i will catch you in the next one